Howdy. This is uh, Kevin Stoda on the porch. Um, this is the Kevin Stoda channel. And today we're going to talk about why we want Warren. Why we want Warren on the Biden ticket. I was uh, doing my spring cleaning and I came across this magazine of a year ago of Elizabeth Warren, originally from Oklahoma. And since a lot of my family spent a lot of time in Oklahoma, my two sisters graduated from Oklahoma. Uh, one went to OU and my mom worked in Oklahoma for many years. I've got a lot of ties and uh, I see her character as such, even though she's been living in Massachusetts many of the last uh, uh, decades. I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, exactly why uh, America needs Warren on the ticket. Uh, first of all, she's a progressive. Two, she's a woman uh, and Biden's promised this to be the case. Uh, and third, she's got a lot of ideas and she'll back up her ideas with doing. She knows how to do. Um, let's look at the agenda. Warren's campaign has rolled out more than a dozen sweeping policy proposals that make up the candidate's progressive vision for America. And she did that very early on in the campaign. Um, too bad people didn't get to know her better. Uh, she was certainly better than Joe Biden and uh, I would have voted for her uh, for president. In any case, if she was on the ticket as president or vice president. Um, I was a Sanders supporter because he was a little firmer on things. Uh, I was with him and I thought she uh, could have been a little bit uh, stronger, for example, in the area of um, debt relief for those who went to college, who've gone to college in America and been paying for it ever since. Uh, let's summarize the 10 uh, points in the agenda that she had that need to be followed through on, especially at this time of COVID-19, in terms of improving our con country and, uh, uh, and making the economy uh, one that we would be happy to live with over the next uh, decades as we try to improve the world. Uh, instead of just take from it, like a lot of people have been using the economy for over the past decades. Um, number one, uh, she would, she advocates uh, affordable child care for all. Number one, a $700 billion federal investment, she said, would be, is needed to get a, a real network of locally run child care centers across the United States. Fam families would pay on a sliding scale depending on income with the neediest receiving free care. That's the first great idea. And I don't hear them talking too much about it, but they need to be. Especially when we're saying who's gonna take care of our children if we go back to work in this new economy. Uh, number two, student debt relief. She advocated a $1.25 trillion plan that would uh, offer up to $50,000 in student loan cancellations to those who already ran up that debt. Uh, I, she said for those uh, earning less than 100,000. Well, Bernie Sanders has a stronger plan. I would take his, but either one is fine with me for a progressive a part of the platform this 2020 on the Democratic ticket. Uh, number three, she advocates and has been advocating affordable housing for all. Uh, she has advocated a $500 billion federal outlay uh, to rehab houses and preserve houses and uh, create housing units for lower income families. It would be paid for by taxing inherited wealth above $7 million a year. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, break up big temp tech companies. She's for breaking up big tech companies. That would include Facebook and Google and some of the others. Uh, the large tech companies would be prevented from using their platforms to promote or sell their own products or steal our identities so much and without paying for it. The plan would also help prevent mergers that undermine market competition. And I would say let's uh, apply that across the United States. We need to have whatever it takes to get rural um, uh, Wi-Fi systems up to date. And that means it, a lot of uh, rural electric, I mean, uh, cooperatives to be built up under this new government. Uh, number five, breakup of, of big AG. 
the plan would ban of hers would ban anti-competitive agribusiness practices. It would also uh, limit production of USA labels to livestock raised and slaughtered in the country. All right, so we would have to have food uh, label. Number six, executive accountability. Uh, the senator's plan would charge a team of federal regulators with investigating financial crimes. It would also hold corporate executives criminally accountable for negligence that harm American families. Okay, executive accountability. Number six, protecting public lands. Warren has vowed to sign an executive order on her first day of president. Now, she could get Joe Biden to do the same. That would place a total moratorium on all new fossil fuel leases, including for drilling offshore and on public lands. Day one. Put that up front. A lot of people vote for you, Joe. Um, maternal health. Insurers would pay health providers one flat rate for caring for a woman throughout her entire pregnancy rather than charging separately for each visit or procedure. Be fair. Number uh, uh, eight, excuse me. Yeah, we're, no, yeah. Um, generic drug prices. The federal government would underwrite the manufacturing of certain prescription drugs and cap out-of-pocket prescription costs for families at 500 per month and strengthen protections for people with private health care insurance. So if you're not going to go all, all the way and take the Medicare for all, Mr. Biden, go at least partway with this uh, plan to get you where we need to go in the future. Um, next, we have opiate crisis. Uh, Warren's plan would allocate $100 billion over 10 years to curb drug addiction and overdoses and to expand the access to treatment. It would be paid for by a 2% tax on household wealth that exceeds $50 million. Finally, she advocates, advocates uh, accountable capitalism. Her proposal uh, would require large corporations to obtain a new federal charter compelling executive boards to consider the interests of workers and communities rather than just shareholders in corporate decisions. If I remember right, uh, that specifically uh, included only corporations of of um, $100 million a year or more, but I, it could be that they would want to make it um, a commitment of all corporations and put it into law and management. Um, we need to break up some of these large corporations, the agribusiness ones, as well as the uh, uh, non-chemical pr producing ones. Uh, we need to make uh, growth in America available to all by providing uh, basic uh, what was done 100 years ago, which was rural electrification. For all, we need to do the same thing for broadband and being able to work at home or commute. Also, we need to have our supply chains uh, shortened, whether it's producing food or producing other goods. Uh, America needs to have a safety uh, net of all sorts. Again, I'll review all, uh, all of um, Ms. Warren's proposals right now. The first one was affordable child care. Number two, student debt relief. Number three, affordable housing. Four, break up tech companies, big tech companies that is. And five, break up big uh, agricultural businesses. Uh, and then executive accountability would be established uh, with regulations in effect. Uh, protection of public lands needs to be increased and moratoriums need to be put in place. Um, maternal health, um, stop charging uh, every uh, nickel and dime item and make a, hospitals to plan and organize uh, for the birthing of a child rather than how much money they can make off it. Generic uh, drug prices. Uh, the federal government, uh, you know, needs to get in here and reduce the cost. I would say the idea of Sanders of um, 
making sure the government negotiated that the prices down would be wonderful. Also, uh, the opioid crisis and other drug, drug addictions continue to be the problem, a problem in many communities, big, small, rural city, um, that we need to be willing to fund for a change. Um, finally, we need a, overall to teach kids and adults what capitalism really is and how we can use it for our best interest. So we need accountable capitalism not the lousy Reagan air, uh, Bush air, uh, Trump air, era capitalism. This is a mess. We need to go back to uh, what we had started in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Yes, through Eisenhower when he was president. Uh, we need to continue to take care of Americans, but we need to also help them grow. That's why we uh, want education and other items on the uh, uh, platform. Now, we don't want just a platform, we want you to candidate with progressives, Joe Biden, and make sure that somebody like uh, Ms. Warren is on the ticket. All right, if not, you're gonna have a lot of less support than you need. You'd want to have big support, Mr. Biden. So we want Warren or somebody just as good. All right, you take care. Uh, Americans and get ready to vote in 2020 and get out there in the meantime and organize either online or talk to your neighbors. Make sure you get a progressive candidate for a change in your city, towns, and at the national level. All right, God bless America and you. Have a good day. This is the Kevin Stoddard Channel.